Planetway wants to revolutionize the information superhighway on a simple premise that our data belongs not to organizations or companies, but to us. Planetway wants to create what it calls an independent data-driven society, a world of human-centered sovereignty. It's ambition, but their journey has started in Japan and California, but taking in some serious new technology from the tiny country of Estonia on the way. I'm Andrew Wilson, and I'm in Davos to talk to Noriaki Hirao about his extraordinary vision. Nori, great to talk to you. First of all, let's talk about this issue of personal data. Why is personal data such a hot topic today? Well, thank you very much, Andrew, for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, as a CEO of Planetway, a world leader in data sovereignty, people often ask me about what I think about the future of the personal data in digital space. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we got started, I almost forgot. Here's this uh, 50 pages of the documents. It's just a uh, terms and condition, nothing to worry. I want to make sure you agree on the bottom and also check the box that saying you are not a robot. I'm not a robot, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I know what we're talking about here. Okay. Online, I would simply yeah. press OK and move on, right? That's exactly right. You know, it feels so unfair to say yes or sign, right? But we actually never read the contents. We just agree on the internet. And Usually, when you have this kind of 50 page of the legal documents, you have your lawyer for the review to sign beforehand, right? But on the internet, people are not paying attention to what you are actually agreeing to. It's completely normal and it's dangerous too. And companies actually make you to agree things that you normally don't agree or they can get away with the things that you never agree in the first place. See, that's why we need to rethink our relationship, how our personal data has been handling or will be handling on the internet. I think you're absolutely right. Often when I look at the, the box I have to tick, yeah. I have a moment where I think, yeah. really, I should look at this more carefully. And then that moment is replaced by, okay, yeah. so clearly that needs to change. How urgent is that situation, do you think? This is quite urgent. Okay, uh, I say, Convenience can make people blind. So there's a huge gap between the large companies, what they think the personal data is worth, versus what individual people think about how much their data is worth. The huge gap. So it's like a quite dangerous. And large companies like, it says, GAFARM, you know, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft are trying to having extraordinary power over your personal data. And not only that, some government like China is trying to make up new databases, massive databases to pretty much control and regulate your life. That's so urgent to change or realize it, the risk. So it's about really the value yes. of that data, isn't it? This is what you mean when you talk about data sovereignty. Right, that's exactly right. We need to first develop a universal and global uh, platform and make sure that the ownership of the data is fully back to you. And then people can say like this, okay, my data is mine. And we as a planet way, would like to introduce a new technology to introduce a human-centric data sovereignty all over the world. Okay, tell me a bit about that because that's a big reset you're talking yeah. about there. We are completely changing the infrastructure. That's a challenge we have to face. We need to make sure that uh, there is a good uh, and secure infrastructure so we as a planet way are going to actually introduce two things. One is a planet cross and another one is a planet ID technology to make sure your data is uh, safely protected and you get your ownership fully back to yourself. What principles are you going to build this on? Planet cross is a basically the uh, core foundation for all the trusted data, which is uh, between the different databases for both private and public sectors. It is completely the centralized system that doesn't store any of your data. And plus, it's 100% secure proven. And also, it provides you the um, data traceability and data transparency while the data uh, transfer is making a process. And we actually made this from 
Estonian uh, e-government technology and make it in Japan to improve the quality of the level to the world top level of the infrastructure. That's what, like, what we did. And we believe it has a potential to revolutionize the internet for good. That's about Planet Cross. And then Planet ID is, it's a universal ID infrastructure, can give you to authenticate for your, and also give you the digital signature. Everything is about your consent. So this ID will give you the consent. Whenever you want to share your data to company A or B, you decide. It's your choice. So very briefly, give me an idea about how the individual, the personal uh, representative on the internet, what would their experience be in this respect? Basically, you got an injury and you go to the hospital and then you usually fill out a form of paper, three pages. And insurance company uh, have to pay about $50 to make sure your handwriting is correct. So they pay money to the doctors to get the certification and you have to wait about I don't know, about two months to get paid. But if we have a, our solutions like this, insurance company will send some requests, not like this 50 page of the terms of conditions like I gave it to you. So simply ask, may I access to your medical data in regard of this injury insurance payment? And if, they, if you say, okay, I'm okay to uh, just press the button on the smartphone, and then it's, it will automatically uh, transfer the medical data to the insurance company so you don't have to wait uh, or fill out any pages and payment will make it in instantly. Okay, mm -hmm. but there's an element of a dream. To me, this sounds like a dream. My data is already out there. It's already out there being monetized by other people. Yeah. How do you get that back and how do you upscale what you're basically describing as a revolution on the internet? People sometimes say to me, well, I understand your concept, but the data already given away, it is impossible to get it back, right? And my answer is, yes, it's possible. If we rebuild our infrastructure in the right way and right manner, you can uh, make sure you have already given away to outside, to some companies. You can make sure that they will not misuse from now on because our infrastructure has this traceability and transparency of any kind of process. What kind of person access to which data? So everything is monitored, not in a bad way, but like traceability and transparency is very important. So long term then, how do you see this being taken up if it is taken up and used by corporations? How do you see this developing? What I'm using right now in, in Japan mainly is to, I would say, uh, number one strategy. If we actually get this, uh, the best clients or best uh, companies in the industry, Usually, the, the rest of the companies are follow the number one companies that are doing, right? So what I'm talking to right now, including insurance and uh, medicals and uh, utilities and local government and all other things, we focus on number one. In fact, we never ask. They just come to us. Hey, we want to uh, revolutionize our uh, services and infrastructure. Can you work with us? That's uh, so far what I'm doing in Japan. For the global market, uh, maybe similar approach can be possible, but probably not the same. I need to still think about that. Well, good <laughs> luck with that. Nori, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.